I'm the caterer here at Jack Daniels. We're on Barbecue Hill. This is Barbecue Weekend when all the competitors come to town and are going to put their best out there for us. But tonight, we have a party for them. We are cooking some fried chicken, mashed potatoes, green beans, and fried apples with a little bit of jack fire in them. And um, got some music going on. And we're here to have a good time. Lynchburg, Tennessee, Jack Daniels, Barbecue Hill. Hey, it's Big Jim Stancil from Barbecue Hill here at uh, Jack Daniels World Invitational 2017. Uh, we're going to be cooking some Snake River Farms gold label skirt steak. We're going to make a, uh, a taco. We made some grilled tomatilla salsa. We've got some pickled jalapenos I made. Uh, a little uh, chopped cilantro, some fresh onions. Um, and some uh, grilled corn tortillas and some grilled flour tortillas. But first, let, let me show you this wonderful Snake River Farms skirt steak. I mean, look at the marbling in that stuff. It's absolutely beautiful. It's going to be so tender. I don't even think we'll have to cut it. We'll probably just grill it and tear it apart. But um, they've provided us with a, a, a beautiful product. Um, the fat content in it is... You know, if you're taking Lipitor or any kind of cholesterol medicine, I'm pretty sure you're going to want to stay away from that. But it will be delicious. We're just going to use a simple rub that I put together, which is uh, just some granulated garlic, granulated onion, salt, and pepper, and that's it. Um, we want it to shine through. We're not going to put very many condiments on it. We're going to put a few things on it, but uh, very little stuff just to highlight and accent the great flavor of the... Uh, the Snake River skirt steak. It's going to be awesome. Really appreciate that. The great job Chip does and all the volunteers and all the Jack Daniels staff. I always ask judges if they can taste the difference between a mac rib sandwich and real barbecue. Please stand if you're able. Raise your right hand and repeat after me. I do solemnly swear, I do solemnly swear to objectively and subjectively evaluate, objectively and subjectively evaluate each barbecue meat, each barbecue meat that, is presented that is presented to my eyes, my, eyes, my, nose, my nose, my hands, my hands and my palate. I accept my duty to be a 2017 Kansas City Barbecue Society sanctioned 29th Annual Jack Daniel Invitational Barbecue Judge. <laughs> so the truth, justice, excellence in barbecue, and the American way of life may be strengthened and preserved forever. You're on your own, now do a great job. I'm Denny Mike Sherman from the great state of Maine. Happy to be back in, uh, in uh, Lynchburg at um, uh, the 29th Annual Jack Daniels World Invitational. We just uh, tried some uh, Chef's Choice, a beautiful uh, shrimp uh, and um, coleslaw um, uh, taco, soft um, uh, flour ta tortilla taco, very nice. We had uh, another uh, entry that was a uh, um, stuffed uh, wrapped shrimp, beautiful uh, grilled shrimp with a little bit of uh, grilled um, um, green onion and a beautiful piece of uh, the most tender uh, uh, filet that I've had in many, many moons. I thought they did a fabulous job. Thank Hello there, George Frazier from Phoenix, Arizona. Very excited. This is my first Jack Daniels Invitational Barbecue event. Um, got certified yesterday as a KC um, barbecue judge. Um, having a great time here in Lynchburg. Um, what an outstanding town. First time here. Uh, what a great event. 
Uh, just had some great food, um, beef tenderloin, uh, bacon wrapped uh, shrimp appetizer, and a uh, shrimp uh, taco uh, appetizer. I own a uh, barbecue restaurant called Frazier's Smokehouse in Phoenix, Arizona. Um, been doing barbecue for 25 years. Um, we did, uh, I had a steakhouse for 16 years and branched off the barbecue about three years ago and uh, having a lot of fun of uh, enjoying barbecue and really getting into these competitions. I'm Fred Minnick from Louisville, Kentucky. I'm a whiskey rider and I was asked to come here and judge the Jack Daniels World Invitational Barbecue World Championship. Been amazing so far. Just had the pork. It was beautiful. All the pieces were really well cooked. Tenderness was there. Some of them had a little bit more smoke to them than others, but overall they were all very flavorful and very well cooked. I've enjoyed the experience so far. It's been amazing. You can go to uh, fredminnick.com to uh, check out my work. Follow me on Twitter at fred.minnick, and that's M-I-N-N-I-C-K. Name's Mike Mills here at the uh, Jack Daniels uh, Barbecue Contest. Uh, we just had our sauce tasting content part of it right here, and it's they're incredible. The uh, overall flavor is just, it's, it's, it's what you would expect at a Jack Daniels barbecue contest. It's awesome. Hi, my name is Henry Rothenberg. Uh, again, we're here at the Jack Daniels World Barbecue Championship Invitational. Just had the sauces as we're getting things underway here uh, with teams from all over the world. And, uh, you know, always love being down here for this event. Tennessee boy, so grew up uh, loving this whole uh, competition and glad to be here now. Jack Daniels is always a great experience and we hope to have lots of good food and fun on tonight. <laughs> I'm Dave Brown, first trip to the Jack, hope to be able to come back. <clears throat> uh, Matthew Hogan from Australia, uh, several trips to the Jack and always good to get here and have some good barbecue. Um, Big Jim Stansel, Oxford, Georgia, um, just had the chicken entry, had six pretty good entries. You could tell everybody knew what they were doing. Um, we had uh, thighs and breast meat. Uh, one of our categories actually had a drumstick. It was Frenched, did a really good job, tasted good, sauce was good, really good entries. Pretty happy with them. Active Army, Fort Sam Houston, Texas, and I had the chicken and I got to say, it was pretty good. Um, all around, uh, very pleased. Did you get this out of the mess hall? You cannot get this out of the mess hall. They may try, but you can't get this out of the mess hall. <laughs> Hi there, I'm Ron Childers. It is my 12th year to judge the Jack Daniels Invitational World Championship Barbecue Contest. And just got finished judging chicken. And I got to tell you, in the 12 years, it's been amazing to see the evolution of just the chicken division because I, I, about 12 years ago when I started, you know, you may in one entry get a, a, a breast or a thigh or a leg, and they all kind of looked a little different. It's amazing how uniform all the entries look now. Everybody's got it down to kind of a, uh, a, a uniformity of sorts with, with the thigh. That's the most popular piece now. Um, and trimmed up just beautifully and a little sliced breast which I love because you can really tell the ability of somebody to cook some chicken by how that how that breast meat turns out so having that sliced breast meat along with the thigh is absolutely wonderful we had six great entries today and that's the wonderful thing about the Jack Daniels competition is you're just not going to have a bad entry and it makes it tough to judge but I tell you what just great to see how it's evolved over the years. Love it. I'm Grady Fouch from Memphis. Uh, I love chicken, so I gave some great scores there. And uh, uh, hard to really pick which one is best, but we're not supposed to do that. We just, if it's the best or good, we give it a nine, and that's, I gave a lot of nines. Enjoyed it. Looking forward to ribs now. My name's Henry Spangler. I'm from Topeka, Kansas. This is my first Jack. I've been fortunate to judge at the Sam's Championship and several American Royal Invitational Championships, but I'm very pleased to be here. I hope to be back many times. We've just finished judging chicken. It was pretty awesome. What I really enjoyed, which I have not seen in the Midwest, 
is uh, people cooking white meat, cooking the breast meat. And I find that very exciting. Hope it spreads throughout the country. I think if they can put in a couple different cuts of meat, put in put in a leg, put in a thigh.